Today's like a no video video day. Um, it was kind of like a little bit of a busy day. I was at the bank, then I had an apartment for an apartment tour. And uh, I guess this will be like an apartment tour video then because I'm looking to change apartments next year. Um, I want something that has a gym and a pool. And a lot of people that I've talked to or that I've other videos I've seen, they've, who am I talking to? I'm not talking to any other people. Why am I trying to pretend I talk to people? I don't talk to anybody except for Daniel and Yvette. So, um, but, um, yeah, like a lot of videos I've watched on YouTube, people are like, yeah, we got a pool in our apartment. They end up not using it in the long run. But I feel like I will because I love swimming. Although I do remember an instance when I rented a house in Vegas with a pool and I think I used the pool the first two days and in the last three days I didn't use a pool. <laughs> but I don't know, it's just nice to have, I think. I think it will be good exercise too. And it's something to do with people, like if you have friends or if you have a significant other, you can be like, hey, let's go swimming or whatever. Anyway, I'll insert a video of the clubhouse, the gym and the pool area. It was a little bit, I didn't get too much footage because I was with like one of the agents and I didn't want to be like too sketch, but <clears throat> my only problem with the um, outside area is that the parking is like around it. So it's kind of like when you're like in your bathing suit or swimming or trying to be social, people are coming to park, you know, and they can see you in the pool, which is a little bit weird to me, but it's fine, whatever, at least there's a pool. Um, and then I really liked the clubhouse. The clubhouse was super nice. It had like a pool table, a foosball table, a gourmet kitchen that you can, you know, cook stuff in and lay things out if you want, you know, if you have a bigger group of people with you. There's like a lounging area with a flat screen TV. There's a, an area where you, where you could do um, like studying or whatever with a couple of desks and computers. There's like a business center. And then there's also, when you go upstairs, that's where the gym is, which was also a pretty good size. I ha love that it had a view of the pool, but it's kind of like a minimal gym, nothing like too crazy in terms of equipment, but enough to get you, get your shit done, you know. Then they have like a changing room up there and then like a yoga, like a small yoga studio up there too. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice. I really liked it. But the thing is like, my credit is bad. So I don't know if I'll get approved next year, but I don't know, we'll see. But I really, really, really want to move in there it's so bad. Um, and then when it comes to the actual apartment, I love it. It's a two bedroom plus den, two bathroom. It looks super spacious, super updated. Um, you don't even need a microwave because they're built, built in microwave. You have a built in pantry. I love like the kind of openness of the kitchen to the living room. I love that there's a den with a door that you can utilize as its own bedroom. So that was nice. And then, um, then the washer and dryer is outside of the unit, right beside the uh, bathroom. And then, like, and then oh, the master bedroom is so nice. You, just, um, you could, there's like a huge like walk through closet, and I love the space in there. It was super spacious. The closet, it, um, it could like even be its own bedroom that closet. But, and the bathroom was super big as well. I love that there's no carpet. I'm a, I don't like, I don't, really, I really don't like carpet in like the bedroom and stuff. I mean, it do, does feel more comfortable on your floor, but when you have animals and, and you know, it just gets dirtier faster. And I like having my windows open so then dust comes in and settles in. So I, I like that there's no carpet, but I love the color scheme of everything. It's like gray and white and um, the balcony. My, my concern was the balcony. I thought it was gonna be small, but it's actually pretty big. It's my balcony here is pretty big. This balcony was bigger and I thought it was smaller, but actually seeing it in person, it was pretty big, but yeah. So the cost of the rent there is is about eighteen hundred a month. So that might seem reasonable if you're from California, Texas, New York, but in terms of like where I live, it's a little bit expensive. This apartment that I currently live in costs about fifteen thirty a month plus parking of sixty dollars. That's like fifteen ninety, almost sixteen hundred. So over there, it would be. 1800 parking would be another 60 so like maybe 1860 and then plus hydro because the water is included here's the same water included but we pay for electric and, and hydro so um yeah i think it would work because i have a ton of bills that are getting done next year 
and I don't know, I just really want to live somewhere that is an active place for you where you can go home, but you don't have to just feel like you're bored at home. You could go to the clubhouse and play some pool or watch a movie there. You can use the basketball court. You can use a pool, walking trails. You can have a barbecue outside on the patio. So there's a lot of things to do, definitely. And it's pet friendly. Pet friendly is also nice. So what they would re require would be first month's rent, obviously. And then half of the rent for the damage deposit and then half the rent for the pet deposit because a damage deposit is separate from the pet deposit. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm hoping it will work. Um, my only main concern would be I feel, I feel like it will work because of all my bills that are getting done next year. But the only thing I'm, I'm worried about is the credit report. My credit isn't that good so that we might get. I might get declined, you know, because um, when I got this apartment, my credit was still pretty okay and decent, but um, since then, it's not, <laughs> it's not the best, it's something I'm working on. Anyway, um, aside from that, I had a good day. I had a good chat with Daniel today. I've been feeling a certain way about our friendship in terms of like stuff and my BBT disorder and the fact that he is super understanding, super supportive, like, uh, I keep forgetting how good of a friend Daniel is and he's a very, very good friend and I'm so grateful and blessed to have a friend like him that kind of understands because sometimes like with my BBT disorder, I'll make things up in my head that aren't even really happening and then I'll blame him because he's literally the only friend in person that I have. In terms of like people I see all the time, it would just be him, you know? So in my head, especially if you have like a favorite person that you're dealing with, it can get very, very um, anxiety and stress and just a lot of emotions. And I kind of laid everything out on the table for him and he was super supportive about it. And yeah, I can't, he's a really good person. And I hope that he gets rewarded somehow <laughs> with karma because I wouldn't be able to put up with my shit, okay? Um, the only other person that kind of put up with my shit was Dave, but um, that was like a whole different kind of situation. So, but I don't know. I guess when people put up with shit like that, it shows that they care. And I have to remember that. I have to remember that. Um, Cause like yesterday he didn't text me all day and I was just kind of feeling a certain way about it. Cause I usually talk to him every day. But then like literally at the last minute of 11.58 p.m. He, he messaged me. But by that time, I was like so enraged um, that, you know, that I, you know, I wasn't, I didn't respond. And then, um, and that's the thing is like, he didn't do anything. But to me, it was like, because he didn't message me all day. He didn't give a fuck about me. He don't care about me. He ain't my friend. He ain't my best friend no more. Like literally things like that go into your head when you have BBT and, um, and another sign will be like ghosting and like pushing people away. And yeah, so I'm glad we hashed, oops, I'm glad we hashed things out in message and everything is fine for now, but I know myself and I know I'm going to like find some other thing to ruminate and about and, but I'm really, really trying to work on it. That's why I kind of saved our messages in Snapchat so that I have something, if I ever feel that way again, I can look back at all the stuff that he said and make myself feel like, you know, give myself like a reality check. And that's kind of why I've been kind of wanting to meet new friends so that I don't always rely on Daniel for, you know, um, venting or hanging out or talking or whatever, you know, like it's a balance. It's a balance of, of uh, time and effort. And um, because the BBT is so heightened right now, it's like, I expect, all these, you know, um, I expect the attention, I expect the time and no, people are busy. People have their own lives. People are dealing with their own shit. So it's like, you can't expect things from people. Anyway, it's something I'm severely working on. I'm hoping that my, uh, therapy and my program gets in, like I get it in soon so that I can work more on, on this and this <laughs> so that I don't affect other people with it. Um, anyway, uh, that's the video guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, before I go, this is the hack that I found on Starbucks. So this tastes exactly like a uh, brown sugar oat shake and espresso. So it's iced, iced 
quad espresso, so an, an iced espresso quad, in a venti cup, extra ice, blonde espresso, single shot or no shot, because there's already four shots, three uh, pumps of brown sugar syrup, oat milk, half um, a splash of oat milk, and then cinnamon powder, and this tastes exactly like a brown sugar oat shake espresso. And this costs only $4.85 compared to the $7.85 of the actual brown sugar oat shake espresso. So you're saving like $3 doing it this way. And it literally tastes exactly the same. I'm glad that I Googled it and <laughs> someone had uh, mentioned it. <sighs> now we can save $3 a day.